channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm doing my first ever collab video. I'm collaborating with IMB TV and we um, chose a topic to do. The topic we're going to do is love. And I have some questions on my phone that we're going to be answering. I'm cold. Alright, the first question is, do you believe love can be taught or learned? Wait, what? You, wait, the question is either you can love can be taught or learned. Mm -hmm. It depends on the because I know people say you can learn to love someone. It's by mm -hmm. example what you see. When you, I, I just because I feel like everybody has a different definition. Well, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's what your I guess what you yeah, see. Yeah. So like, what is your definition? By example. I mean, oh, okay. I guess just watching my parents. <laughs> I would. I guess I would try to mirror that in a way. Watched your parents did you learn. Yeah, just like yeah, gestures of cool. like, I mean, okay, I'm pretty sure that's that's that. how to show learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get that. I feel like learning how love can be learned. I don't really feel like you just like come out with it and be like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's worse. Okay, do you believe um, love can, is love precious or do you believe it can be poisonous? But well, love oh, that's, 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 that's a deep one. If you, well, if we're talking about relationships and you fall in love with the wrong person, that's mm -hmm. when it turns poisonous. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like to, when it gets to the point where you love, love somebody, you're gonna stay whatever y'all go through. Like, you know it's poisonous for you. And it's like, I don't know how to explain it. You know it's bad for you, but you, you've been there for so long and it's just all that you're used to. Regardless of how the situation is, that's just what you're used to. So if you are like taken away from that, you're not gonna know how to act. Like you're not gonna know how to live on your own. I'm not gonna say live on your own. But you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. You can right? learn though, yeah. I mean you can learn, but that's yeah. just what that's your normal. That's your you know, so it'll take time, but once you get tired of being in a poisonous situation, you will get out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, is it possible to fall in love at first sight? Yes. I think, yeah. Yes, that is true. Wait, can you repeat it? I've been in love with myself for 21 years. So. <laughs> 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 oh, baby, self love is first. Right. Oh, definitely. You, yeah. If you don't love yourself, you can't love yourself. You can't love yourself. Yeah, you can't. Um, as far as somebody seeing somebody, I don't think you can fall in like the truest type of love. I feel like yeah, that's love. That's love. Like, you can fall in love at first sight. I don't believe in love at first sight. I believe in lust at first sight. Yeah, I feel like you can be attracted to somebody at first sight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you can be head over heels. Yeah. It can be a type of infatuation, but yeah. I wouldn't call it love. Yeah. You're All right, is it possible to love someone too much? I think, yeah. Yes. yes. I don't think you can I love somebody too so. much <laughs> as long as it's like reciprocated. What you mean? Like I feel like some people out here just are head over heels for each other, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Like, if, if it's a one-sided thing, but if yeah, it's playing you, okay, okay, that's a one-sided thing. Then but, you the issue. Okay. But I don't think it's a bad thing to love somebody too much if if it's reciprocated. Yeah. Okay. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it possible to love your enemies? I think I'm trying it's to get to heaven, so I'm not going around yeah. hating nobody. I think it's possible to love your enemies. Very much so. How? Like, it's not the same type of love that you yeah. have for somebody that you actually like. But I'm is this the type of like, I I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with me type of situation? Yeah. That's yeah. what y'all trying to say. Yeah, but I don't hate uh, you. Yeah, I, I don't have no animosity. Yeah, like, okay. feel, I don't wish bad on you. I wish the best for you from a distance. That's not love. I don't think it's love. I think it's just respect. This is like you stay out my way, I stay out your way. I mean, love. Okay. There's different types of love though. Like, not every Talk love is going to be the same. The love I have for that person is the love I would have for any other person so walking down the street. Contract, like, it's love, just a, I don't wish you no type of ill will. You're going to do your Talk thing. Contract, I respect you as a person and what you do. I wish the best for you. And I hope you die and go to heaven. But, am I going to talk to you every day? Did you do me wrong? Yes, it's done. Plus, if someone's your enemy, I feel like either they were close to you at one point or y'all had to type of relationship before. Yeah, I feel like like if it's your enemy. If you were friends, enemy. yeah, I like, I can have love for you then. But like, if you're just like an enemy, I mean, we're just enemies. But well, sometimes your friends can turn into your enemies or like your boyfriend or girlfriend can turn into your enemy. So I feel like that's when it means, can you love your enemy? Like if you were dating, if I was dating a dude when we broke up, we, he became my enemy, would I still have love for him? I yeah, like I, I still have love for him. Yeah. Um, how is a parent's love different from a child's love? 
And I think, I think parents, that's an unconditional type of love. Yeah. yeah. And that's I feel like as a child, true. you have to learn from your parent how yeah. they love you. You learn how to love like that in turn. Mm -hmm. Plus, our parents have seen more than us, so they know more. Mm -hmm. And you I just think go they off can, too. yeah, we're going off the end. They're like, they have a protecting mm -hmm. love that you can't really give your parents until you've experienced the same thing that they've experienced. So you know the proverb you read what you sow. Do you agree? Does this proverb does this proverb apply to love? Yes, yes, it does. When the um, proverbs are saying when you reap what you sow, like for example, if you do someone wrong in a relationship, in time it'll come back on you. Not immediately, but I feel like it is due time. It will happen. What's that God works in mysterious ways? He may not come when you want him. All right. <laughs> You don't reap what you sow in a relationship all the time. Not all the time. Though. Um, I think you do. I think you do. I feel like if you did a girl wrong, you should get that. A um, whole nother way back. Like, like that should come yeah, back on you while you're about... you living your damn life. That should come back. Oh my bad. That should come back on you. Period. You can't just treat people any kind of way and think it's not gonna come back on you. Yeah, right. okay, so like, that shit can be true. I agree with that. Yeah, so I put an example of they'd be like, okay, so they somebody cheat and like you go visit their windows and it like you reap what you sow. No, no. <laughs> no. it's no. just no. as bad as them. You can't do it yourself. Yeah, that's not yeah. like that's not a whole other level of maturity. Yeah, like, I'm do. like that's so yeah, you gotta let or you know whatever you believe in, I believe in God. Let God handle it. Mm -hmm. oh, well. You gotta be a mature you gotta the, 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 the mature. <laughs> that <laughs> comes with maturity. Because when you break out his window, yeah, that don't know. change what he did to you or how you feel. But it make you feel hella good. For a second. For a few minutes before you have to run and get back in the car. I should have left me a couple days. Then you pull up on your But what happened after a couple days? Pull up if you bad. What happened after a couple days? How did you feel again? Oh, fine. Liar. We're gonna keep moving. Whatever. It makes you feel good for the moment. Okay, whatever. You don't feel I'll good agree. for a day. Yeah. Feel, what feels good is when you are um, um, Finally over this flourishing day. in life without them. And, and they're progressing and doing better things. Oh. That would make you feel better. Yeah, what if you and they still doing the same shit they was doing with you. Or worse. Or worse. <laughs> right. Um, Is it possible, like, are most problems in the world caused by a lack of love? I'd say yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or lack even just like that respect for another human being, regardless of if they're different from you, if they believe different from you. I feel like if we had that for each other, the world would be better. I don't know. I can't really agree with that. I don't really think it's a struggle with love. I think it's more of a power struggle. Yeah. Um, I feel respect. The respect of people not really viewing it as, you know, one race, which is the human race, and not really looking at the perception of color and oh, ethnicity, mm -hmm. but rather people look at, oh, you're white, oh, you're European, oh, you're Chinese, oh, you're this, that, and whatnot, and that's basically what is dividing us as a nation and as people in general, okay. so, yeah. I agree wholeheartedly with that statement. Relationships <laughs> in general? Um, I feel like I question why like say the guy leaves the girl I just wonder why like if you knew the girl was like ride or die why would you leave what you had for some bum ass bitch <laughs> okay that's like that's my question that's my oh that, that's a statement I will say that I think it's a maturity thing like some people get in relationships and they're just not ready to handle what that really comes with you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they do things to sabotage it and then it needs to break up until they have a, that maturity to be like, okay, this is a good woman for me or this is a good man for me. Let me do right by them. I also feel like, and I had to learn this, I was told this, sometimes you're just not the one for that person. Yeah, true. Yeah. Like you could true. be a good look true. for him and you know, he may see that, but you're just not the one for him and he's not the one for you. And if it's, it's not going to work, you can't force something that's not going to work. Yeah. You know? Yes. And then also we're really young Like I think we put too much pressure On trying to get in a relationship And stay with that person forever yeah. Because we're only like 19, 20, 21 20, 20. I feel like love is Laughter 
What is love? That's love. Just what love. is love? Love is joy. Comfortableness. Love is what? Love is gentle. Love is kind. What? You don't. <laughs> 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 you don't want to be loved. Yeah. What's love to you? I feel like love is when you want more for the person than what they want for themselves and for exactly. yourself. You will put exactly. them before you. It's more too. It's it's not that simple though. It's not. It's At a very all. complex thing. Cam, what does love mean to you? I guess I don't know how I'm supposed to say this. I guess holding that person down, like 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 what Bria said, just Can you being say there. Right. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> holding that person. <laughs> Ride or die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, damn, Why she just been big guy in the You don't need to say it. Okay. What is love to you, Cam? I feel like a person that can just make your this may be cliche, but just make your heart like smile. It, like I love to smile. I'm, I'm a very happy person. I love to laugh. Ooh, so it's just like a genuine, uh, like a reaction. She's like it's like, so young. Yeah, I mean, know. but then again, it's it's a different thing for everybody. So That's I mean, like, but know. if everybody make you smile, then how do you know you love? Me? No, it's you know. I mean, you I know. thought I knew, but shy. <laughs> <laughs> but be smart about stuff because. Don't be out here. Listen to that little, eyes, you know, that little that voice in your head that's telling you something ain't right. Intuition. Well, you ask God for signs and he sends you one. Don't be like that. And don't ignore it. Listen. The stuff that you ask for, don't ignore it. And then be yeah. mad that it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wait, oh. If God okay. sends you a sign, don't be like, oh, that must have been a coincidence. No, yeah. it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sign. <laughs> <laughs> like God and, and the cuss word and the sign. <laughs> anyway, God CJ, love. what is love to you? Oh, okay. Love to me is being able to be <laughs> being able to be yourself happily and comfortably. Twenty four seven. Twenty five eight. Twenty five eight. And like evolving with someone well, moving ahead with someone I like equally. That. Progressing in life. That's really good. Wanting better things for each other. You went to baby cousin at church yeah. pray for the first time. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> I like being what is love to you. Uh, I would say love is sharing every aspect of yourself with someone else. Yeah. Whether it's physical, mental, emotional, okay. everything. Kenny, what does love mean to you? Uh, love to me <laughs> is when... <laughs> Snapchat or snapshots become memories and memories become infinity and those infinities are you in philosophy too or too? <laughs> because you are really speaking today. <laughs> vocabulary on fleek. Preach past the vocabulary on fleek. Like a like like yeah, like day to day things they become, you know, like formed within just like the uh I guess like the essential of like a whole relationship and then like those things they they expand out and it becomes like you know not having to be like hey like let's do this let's do that it's just like naturally happens it's like second nature doing something yeah. with like I know with mean. like uh your your individual or significant um I have to answer a question. yes answer oh, sorry, Joe. Sorry. what do you think about love well I think all of y'all had great points you know I agree so I'm gonna say something different to me love is when you can argue with somebody all day, but you know at the end of the day that's like your best friend and y'all are gonna get through it. So that's a little bit I think everyone said good things besides Theo, so let's go back to you. I don't think I could actually answer that right now because I've never been in You don't have to be in You love us, don't you? Never. <laughs> 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 How would you want to feel about someone that you yeah. love? Same way he feels about his fashion. Yeah, I guess like the same way I feel about myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, you want that that obsession, like that yeah. passion. Just ooh, come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright guys, so that was it for this video. If you're not already subscribed to um, IMB TV, make sure you check them out. I'll make sure I put their um, link to their YouTube in my description box. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. You can follow me on Instagram, Bria, B-R-I with five, with five A's, three underscores. Thank you. That's the only social media I have because you're not going to be in my Facebook. But follow me on Instagram. Just Google her name. Oh, <laughs> not, not my name. It's on your Instagram. It's on your Instagram. It's going to change. <laughs> <laughs>